Prostate cancer is the second most common type of cancer in men. One in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime, and more than 34,000 men die from it each year. Although prostate cancer is common, not everyone should be screened. It depends on risk factors, including age, ethnicity, and family history of the disease. The American Cancer Society recommends, starting at age 50, men who are at average risk for prostate cancer should talk to their doctor to make an individual choice about getting screened. Men at high risk, including black men, and men who have a father or brother diagnosed with prostate cancer at an early age should start this discussion around age 40 to 45. Why is screening important? When it's detected early, prostate cancer can be treated with minimally invasive techniques. In some cases, it can be observed and treatment isn't required. The most common screening test is a prostate-specific antigen, or PSA test. This is a blood test to measure levels of PSA, a substance made by the prostate. While PSA levels can be elevated for a variety of reasons, high levels of PSA can be a sign of prostate cancer. If your PSA is abnormal, your doctor may recommend additional testing, such as a prostate MRI, a repeat PSA test, or referral to a specialist to discuss further options. Even if prostate cancer is detected, you may not need treatment. Some prostate cancers are very slow growing, and in some cases, active surveillance or watchful waiting is recommended instead of definitive treatment with radiation or surgery. So, if you're age 50 and at average risk, or 40 to 45 for those at high risk, talk to your doctor to decide if and when you should get screened for prostate cancer.